Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today I want to show you how to set up a crown splash in just a few steps. A crown splash is basically a splash of water. So let me show you how you can easily set it up and if you want to get the project files this time I'm giving this out for free. You can join the discord server links are going to be in the description and uh, you'll be able to get the project and examine it yourself. And this is my setup here you can see I'm setting up a few custom forces uh, that are making it possible for me to create uh, the crown splash. So the first thing you're going to need is a cube. This is going to be the domain containing our fluid. Let's scale it down so that we're not wasting resolution. And then I'm going to add a squashed sphere, the icosphere, squash it down. And uh, so I'm going to go to the physics tab of the domain and give it a fluid type domain and it should be liquid and the resolution is going to be 64 uh, for the start and then for our fluid i'm just going to go to fluid type flow and uh, the type should be liquid as well and if i play back it should just collapse like that for now i'm going to go to the domain and turn off meshing and now we should be able to just see the, the particles directly now what i want is to add a force that pushes these particles up in a direction like that. Uh, forces in Blender are not easily customizable so we, we have to be a bit creative to create our own forces. So I'm going to use a curve object. Uh, I'm going to rotate it like this and uh, just place it and I'm going to go to the physics and give this a force field type wind. Uh, let's use wind and uh, the shape is going to be a curve so that this water tries to follow the curve and I can see what we are getting. You can see it's trying to follow the curve, uh, but I think the strength is a bit low. Uh, now you can see that it's really going up. Now let's set a maximum distance so that only a few of these particles are affected by this force. So I'm going to turn on maximum distance and uh, increase this a bit. And you can see which particles are going to be affected just by this force, as you can see is there. So if I play back, you can see how that is pushing these up. And uh, let me make this more straight. So I'm going to use automatic and uh, raise it maybe even up a bit like that. So you can see how this is pushing this up. I can even increase the flow so that the influence of uh, this goes up. I can try a force of 20. And uh, you can see how that is pushing that up. Now imagine if we have more than one. So I'm going to make sure that my pivot point is at the center there. And I'm going to go to edit mode, change my, my 3D cursor to this. My pivot point to the 3D cursor, shift D and rotate this. You can see how now we have two of these pushing these up. Now what I can do is go to the modifiers and add an array modifier just like that. I'm going to use object offset and use an empty just like this. Use that as the object offset. Now I can rotate this empty so that I make copies around this. So I want about as many as I want. If I play back the force is still only applied to the original curves because the array is above uh, the force we added. So I'm just going to bring this array above the force so that the geometry generated by the array is considered to be part of the force. And now you can see we easily get something like that. You can bring this closer to bring the forces a little bit inside just like that. And you basically have a crown. Uh, you can increase the particle count here or the, or the count of uh, this to make, to amplify the force. And uh, the other thing you have to note is the radius, the fall off of your curve or the, this maximum distance. So if you make it smaller, so you can see when the fall off is small, you get uh, a better crown, uh, but uh, then you have to increase the strength so maybe 50 uh, this shoots up quite a lot because this is a force it's going to be applied every frame so you don't want it to continuously push these particles up what you can do is after maybe frame five you can uh, turn off the effect of uh, the force so at frame six i want this to be off and keep frame uh, these forces to be off and uh, now the gravity can take back control and uh, this will make uh, these particles fall. So this is basically all you have to do. And you can see what we get. Uh, let me increase maybe this to four, 100. Yeah, you can see the splash. 
Now, anyway, that's how you render a crown in Blender. And uh, if you want to check out the project files, you can go to my Discord server. And uh, you can also check out some of the new renders for new geometry nodes, road generator, destroyed road generator. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.